Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Water Launch Sites mod, which is being made by form user Flart. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is two new launch site locations over here on the shore, specifically made for, of course, launching boats and submarines. And that is a wonderful thing, so let's quickly jump in to the space plane hangar and take a look at these two different launch sites and let me grab a uh, kind of awful looking boat that I made earlier but hey it floats and that's all I care about and let's go over here to the launch site selector where you can see here we have two new locations one being shore sea level which is meant for launching boats it will actually put it of course on the surface of the water and the other is shore underwater and it will place your vessel about 30 meters under the surface of the water and a bit further out from the shore than the sea level one so let's launch at that side as I already have another boat out there at the sea level oh I don't have a Kerbal now, well, that doesn't matter too much. We just need to get out here to show off the locations. Now, as I said, we should spawn here underwater at about 30 meters, and we will slowly but surely make it up to the surface. And you can see about 150 meters behind us is another boat, and that is the location of the shore surface launch location. So they're just right in line with the underwater one being a bit further out and you can see behind us we do have a few static objects as well to make it feel a bit more like a kind of harbor slash dock like area for you to enjoy and I should mention at this point that all of these objects and also the spawn points rely on the Kerbal Constructs mod as a prerequisite and that does also mean these static objects back here you can use Kerbal Constructs to place them in the world to build your own little dock locations in other locales which is pretty cool let me ask just a quick look once more at these two locations Locations. This is the underwater one here, and right here is the one for sea level. Now let's actually take a look briefly at the different static objects we do have. That's the launch site. There's, ah, perfect. That's the Kerbal I wanted to go to next. And the first stati static object to look at here is this lovely billboard, which actually shows you exactly where your boat's gonna be. It does have the locations from shore of our two different launch sites and even shows you the depth below the surface for your submersible. So a handy little billboard if you ever do forget where they will spawn. Now we also do have this cool looking tower right here, which sadly, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in a thing here, we can't go up into. There is an elevator down at the bottom here, but we cannot interact with it in any way, shape, or form, which means our Kerbal is stuck down there on the bottom. It'd be really cool if we could go up there, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Now, there is a slight glitch involved with this. I found this out earlier. If you do leave a Kerbal on this platform right here, leave the game and then come back, he'll, um, he'll be on top of the thing, not inside the tower, but rather on top of it. That was rather hilarious, and thankfully the Kerbal can survive the drop back down to the surface. <laughs> but yes, uh, it would be cool if we could go inside of that, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Now let's go to the next Kerbal that I have. Nope, that's the wrong way. There we are. And on this little, um, I keep calling it a dock, but I guess uh, it's not quite a dock. It's supposed to be made of earth, you know? Got a little road there with lights coming in, but as you can see, it actually ends just below the water's surface, so I kind of wish they would have just made it out of like a metal or wood dock material, rather than trying to make it look like the ground over here. But nonetheless, it's still cool, and we even have a fun billboard here to welcome all sailors, and of course, what happens at sea 
stays at sea. So a fun thing there. And uh, the same billboard is on the other side. And all in all, it's uh, not exactly the most complex little dock area ever made, but you know what? It serves its purpose. And of course, the mod's purpose is mainly to offer you these two spawn locations, just with a little extra flavor here with the static objects. And again, with Kerbal Constructs, you can place these in other parts of the world as well. Now, there is one thing I don't want to show you here on the mod, because, or on the video rather, because I kind of want you guys to experience it for yourself. This mod also adds in two underwater anomalies, which are kind of cool. You can find them, of course, through the CurbNet or ScanSat, and they're just interesting things to go and find and visit in the world, and nothing more beyond that, but a cool little addition just as a little extra thing for the mod. But that is really all I've got to talk about here. It's just a lovely little mod with some static dock objects, two lovely spawn locations to make launching your boats even easier, and all in all, just a nice little thing. So if you'd like to have a look at it for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And wow, it looks like you don't even have to leave the game for that glitch to happen. It looks <laughs> looks like we got our Kerbal up here without having to leave. That's that's wonderful. Beautiful. But yeah, that's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed. You do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.